So here are the results after using Frost Strap and Plexity with the best fast flag settings applied for maximum FPS. In this video, we're going to compare these two launchers side by side to see which one really gives higher FPS and lower ping. Same PC, same settings, but completely different outcomes. Stick around because this one's going to be interesting. Let's jump in. Gear Up Booster is one of the best program for optimization of your ping while you playing Roblox. Using a wired or wireless connection, get this paid program for free from my description and enjoy your game with lower ping. Step 1. Turn off power throttling in Windows to help Roblox run smoother on low-end PCs. If your PC is low-end or budget, you need it to run at full power for games like Roblox. Windows has a feature called power throttling, which saves energy by slowing down your CPU. Press Windows plus R on your keyboard. This will open a small run box. In that box, type gpdit sc and press enter. This opens the local group policy editor, which lets us change advanced system settings. On the left side of the window, click computer configuration, then administrative templates, then system. Scroll down and click power management. On the right side, find power throttling settings and double click it. In the new window, double click turn off power throttling. Another window will appear, select enabled, then click Apply and OK. Now power throttling is off and your CPU will always stay fully active. This will give you smoother gameplay and fewer FPS drops in Roblox or any other game. Step 2. Use Plexity and Fast Flags to optimize Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Next, we will use Plexity, a special Roblox launcher that boosts FPS, reduces lag, fixes stuttering, and works even better than Voidstrap, especially on low-end PCs. Download Plexity from the FPS Boost Pack. After downloading, run the installer and follow the setup instructions. Once installed, click the Windows search bar, type Plexity, and open the app. When Plexity starts, it will welcome you. Choose between light mode or dark mode, depending on your preference. You will then see the Roblox priority setting. This controls how much processing power Roblox gets. If you are on a low-end PC, choose high to give Roblox more resources and get better FPS. If you run other apps like Discord or screen recorders while playing, choose Normal for balance. After selecting your setting, Plexity will show a message saying Installation Complete. Inside Plexity, turn on Clean Roblox Temp Files to delete temporary files that build up and slow the game. Also, turn on Clean Roblox Logs to remove log files that pile up every time you play, freeing space and reducing lag. Enable multi-threaded rendering so Roblox can use all CPU cores during gameplay for smoother performance. Turn on Allow Cross-Game Teleportation Limit to speed up loading between Roblox games that use teleporting. Bottleneck detection can be turned on if you think your CPU or GPU is overused, but we will leave it off for now. You can also customize your Roblox cursor using designs from the Plexity Discord server. Download a cursor pack and apply it in the Roblox Cursor Customization feature inside Plexity. Now we move to the Fast Flags section, where the real performance tweaks are. Turn on Refresh Rate Unlock so Roblox can use your monitor's full refresh rate. If your monitor is 144 Hz, this allows Roblox to run at 144 FPS instead of 60. To find your refresh rate, go to Settings, System, Display, Advanced Display Settings, check your refresh rate, and match it in Plexity. Turn on Use Max Frame Rate to remove Roblox's FPS limit so your graphics card can go all out. Set Texture Quality to High if using mods like Block Shade, or low for better FPS on weaker PCs. Set Render Mode to DirectX, DX, not Metal. Metal is for Max. In the Plugins tab, you can find tools like Server Info, Shows Ping, and Server Location, Uninstall Roblox, Clean Removal, and a Temporary Files Cleaner. In the Tweaks tab, you'll find more tools to improve speed. To install Fast Flags, go to Editor Settings and scroll to the bottom. Click Add New, open the Boost Pack folder, and find the Fast Flag presets. There are two, one for higher FPS and one for reducing ping. We will use the FPS version, open the file, copy all the text, paste it into the Fast Flags editor in Plexity, click OK, and choose Yes if prompted. Save the settings, close Plexity, and launch Roblox. You should now notice smoother gameplay and higher frame rates. I was able to get over 200 FPS after using Plexity. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping for Roblox. So first download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. 
If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Roblox or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 3. Use Froststrap and FastFlags to optimize Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Froststraps is a new Roblox launcher, similar to Blockstraps, Fishstraps, and Voidstraps, all designed to make Roblox run faster. You can get the files from my official website, link in the video description. This launcher boosts FPS, reduces lag, and fixes stuttering, especially useful if your PC isn't very powerful. After installing, go to the Windows search bar, type Frost Straps, and open it. In the app, click Configure Settings. In the Bootstrapper tab, scroll until you find Cleaner. This removes old logs and extra files, freeing space and possibly reducing lag. I used it, and it deleted a lot of old Roblox logs. It's set to run every two months automatically. Next, go to the Flash Flags tab. Select your actual GPU so Roblox uses it instead of the basic Microsoft driver. Turn on Force Logical CPU cores and set it to 8 cores if your PC is mid-range or better. Change your display refresh rate. I set mine from 120Hz to 144Hz to trick Roblox into allowing higher FPS. In the 3D graphics section, I use these settings. Anti-aliasing 2x, shadows off, terrain textures off, grass off, frame rate limit unlimited, and gray sky on for better performance. Go to Unified Rendering Modes and Graphics. Choose Unified Phase 4 and select the rendering mode that works for your PC, Vulkan for me. This made Roblox load faster, menus open quicker, and movement smoother. In the System tab, turn on Bypass Vulkan GPU checks, optimize memory for low-end PCs, and optimize light rendering. You can also try Dynamic Resolution DSR. I tested 1080p with 4x scaling. It looked worse but ran smoother. In the Rendering and Graphics settings, turn on DX11 for faster rendering. I left BGA support on just to test. Set textures skipping to 4x for a huge FPS boost, though graphics will look low quality. In network and input delay tweaks, turn on disable Roblox telemetry, Roblox core optimization, large reads, write speed boost, and faster loading. I set buffer length to 1480. In the Fast Flags editor tab, click I know what I'm doing, then add new. Open the text file from the FPS boost pack, copy all its settings, and paste them into frost straps. Click OK and confirm. Finally, in the Appearance tab, I chose the classic dark theme. Color options are cosmetic only. Save your settings and launch Roblox. Step 4. Use all CPU cores for better Roblox performance. To make Roblox run at full power, we will ensure all CPU cores are enabled. Press the Windows key, type System Configuration, and open it. Go to the Boot tab, then click Advanced Options. Check the box next to Number of Processors. From the drop-down menu, select the highest number available. This is the total number of CPU cores your PC has. Click OK, then Apply, then close System Configuration. This makes Windows use the full power of your CPU for Roblox and other apps, reducing lag, increasing FPS, and making gameplay smoother. Restart your computer to apply the changes. If you follow all these steps, Roblox will run much faster, with higher FPS, less stuttering, and quicker controls. Don't forget to restart your computer so all changes take effect. If this helped you, leave a like, share it with friends, and subscribe for more Roblox performance guides.